Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new PowerPoint game. Today's game is a writing game. This is something I've been working on for about six weeks. And um, key points about this game, it's a nice small file size, only 34 megabytes. The font is already embedded into the game. It's very quick and easy game to make. You can actually make a game really fast using this template and put it to great use. And it's very fun to play as well. I've tried this game two times now. It's been a great success. You can use this game with any size of class, very small class or a very big class. It will work with any size that you're using at all. And of course, it's a very fun game and it's great that it's a writing game. I've been promising to make a writing game for a long time and finally I've made a new writing game. And it's also very suitable for younger learners. So let's get straight into it. Now on the slide 18 here, if you want to, you can get students to write the sentences in a notebook or on a piece of paper or go ahead and print out this template, cut it down the middle and then hand them out to students. Uh, if you can print it in color, all the better. It's really nice and really cute. And um, now let's get on into the game. So this is the Sumiko Garashi game and it's all based around the Sumiko Garashi characters. Uh, previously, I made two games before using these characters, speaking game and a reading game. And now we have a writing game. So this game is made in kiosk mode. You will not be using the keyboard. You will only be using the mouse and clicking on certain links. Now the key link here is the red arrow. Click on the red arrow. That would take you to the next slide. There's an explanation of how to play this game. It's really, really simple. Basically there are gonna be three words or three sentences. Students choose only one and they write it down. I've also explained here in Korean language, this can be very useful for students who've never played this game before. So go ahead and show that if you're working in a Korean school using Korean language. Uh, so let's click on the red arrow again. This is round one. Click on the red arrow again. So here you are, this is a template. So what you can do, actually I'll come out of this again, what you can do for a really very simple game, you can just write in a word or you can make a sentence. So let's just use fruit words to be really simple here. Apple, banana and uh, orange, okay? So I'm gonna open this up again now. So it's a template as I said, you can write in a word or you can make a full sentence. Change the font size if you're gonna write a longer sentence to fit it in. So please write your words. This game is extremely cute. Uh, there are these characters coming up, <laughs> down, flying across the screen, all sorts. So give the students some time to write their word or sentence. Ask them if they are ready. Um, I tend to find that students, uh, they're all at different speeds. Some uh, take longer to choose the word. And go around and check. Check the writing, check that it's correct, check that it's legible and readable and reasonably tidy. And once everybody's ready, all you have to do is click on the rounded rectangular box. So for example here, Apple, click on this one. Okay, so that student's gonna get six points if they wrote the word Apple. Uh, banana. So this game is a little unique. There are also minus points in this game, makes it more interesting. And the last one here, the green rounded rectangular box, I will click on this one. Okay, we got four points there. So to go to the next round, you can see the words next round in the bottom left hand corner. All you need to do is click on this and it will move you forwards to the next slide. This time click on the red arrow. Okay, and then that will take you into round two. So in round two here, I've already put some words in here. And actually the reason that I've done this, I wanted to show you something quite important. This text has a little bit of a problem. If you use an apostrophe, uh, for example, it's an orange. So that's a little bit too long. As I said, if you're making a sentence, change the font size to fit it in. So what I've done here, it's an apple. I changed the font because this font makes a very big space. So all you need to do is just change the apostrophe to a different font. Good example is Comic Sans, like that. 
and then it will compress it down like that. So that's just an extra point. If you are going to be using apostrophes, uh, just change the font to a different font and it will work perfect. So this game has seven rounds. I think seven rounds is about right. It seems to take maybe around 15 minutes to play. It, it takes longer than I was expecting. If you think you would like to see this game to be longer, eight rounds or 10 rounds, just let me know and I'll make a longer game. So let's just move forward to round seven. So here's round seven. Click on the red arrow. So this is the final round, round seven. And same system again, it's a template. You can write in any word that you like. Please write your words for the students. And these little characters are gonna be flying across the screen. In and out. And then after that, the cloud, the guru is coming. <laughs> are you ready? So ask the students, are they ready? Go around and check their writing if it's okay. And then it's the same system again. You just click on these boxes and it reveals the points. Now when you're in round seven, um, in the bottom left hand corner, it says last round. Just click on last round and then it will come up as the end. <laughs> and there's that cloud again. So it's a really cute game. Um, I think this is a really useful game. And I, like I said, I used it twice. It's very quick to make. It's fantastic to pair up with a writing lesson. So useful. And it takes around 15 minutes to play. So, so it uses some time of the class in, in a positive way. Very fun, very exciting. So that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any problems. Let me know if you would like me to change anything. And um, I really hope this is useful in your teaching. So I'm going to say goodbye now. Uh, thanks so much if you watched to the end of this video. And take care and have a wonderful week. Bye bye.